Hey guy, my name is Andre, aka Mr. Vega, and I wanted to do a quick video today just to show you how you can play the Elven faction against Hard AI. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing just a regular 1v1, I'm gonna be showing you how you can survive the, the early rushes from the Hard Army, and then how you can pretty much uh, just turtle in for a little bit, get some resources, get some units, get some heroes out, and, and then go from there. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I want to do today, so uh, let's get the ball rolling here. I'm going to be playing against Mortar. This should work against any of the factions, so we shouldn't be uh, too worried about it. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to go in more detail on the differences between the matchups and everything as we go. So the if you're playing Fords of Bison, the early start is always the same. You're going to make a farm, you're going to uh, recruit Frodo, and then you're going to capture the settlement that I'm capturing here as well. And I always start with heal, just in case I need it. We must protect the woods. Our fair city grows Keep long. So I always want to get the economy the rolling early because uh, you're going to need it because they push so they push so hard so early with heroes and stuff like that. So I go for this three, the three farms as you can see, and we then that's it. The I just go back and I just uh, go back to my base, and that's Watch about it. The enemy. This is the and then I have to go out. Keep your wits sharp. Normally you shouldn't have getting hit by those wards, I, that was a mistake by my part. Normally you should just walk a little bit further down here, and that's okay, that's okay, I bring, it, I bring them back. And here that, that's one that's gonna differ between uh, one faction and the other, and other faction depending on the matchup that you have. Uh, it's gonna be, it, like you can creep here, but you don't have to creep here. I do it for the extra power points and a little bit of extra money sometimes, I don't even do it all the time. The way I do it, I send Frodo in first, then I send the other guys, and I have him tank the ward for a little bit. I heal him and then I move him back, and then I just finish him off. Cash bloating a little bit, so you're gonna go for another farm when you can, and you wanna go for the barracks. Take me. Back, these foul I got creatures. the gear, I got the creep. So this that I'm doing here is not mandatory because a lot of the times I'm gonna lose some units here and they're gonna be rushing me pretty soon here, you'll see. So once you have this out, you wanna do a couple of extra swordsmen, warring soldiers. And you wanna have this well and two towers at the front once you have the money as well, which is what I'll be doing next. Hold them! And then these farms, I don't actually try to defend them. They're mostly there just for the resources, for however long I can get the resources for. And then once they destroy them, that's fine. I just delete them before they destroy it. That's about it. And now I go back. I'm gonna make the towers preemptively, so whenever they start pushing, I'm already ready. And here I survive with this battalion, which is good. If you, while you're creeping, you can always try to do that. Just run away with the battalion that is dying. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, but it worked out for the best. So you can see that they are attacking this. So I'm gonna go for archers next. So I don't try to save this. I just I just let them get it. Same with this. I'm just gonna delete it once the life is low enough, and that's about it. So I go for my archers. Let's see what's gonna die first here. Probably this one. And then from here, I go just for more farms, more farms, more resources. I'm just gonna delete it now. Same with these, I don't have to pay attention, so whenever they start rushing, I can focus on my base. And you get half of the resources back, in case you, you didn't know, so it's not too bad destroying units. The uh, it denies them power points, uh, depending what spell they have, it denies them gold, it denies them experience. So just destroy it, there's no need to have the buildings up. So that's pretty much what I do. And then this farm, for some reason, they're normally, they especially this one, they take a little bit longer to destroy than the other ones, normally. Uh, Elves, yeah. over here. Is now finished. Keep out of sight. Now I can just camp in the base for a little bit, depending on their attacks. You see that in a bit they're gonna have a bigger army and they're gonna have the heroes pushing in as well. Which is the more annoying part. So... Yeah. As long as you have the well, you shouldn't be in too much trouble. So, heavy. so I'm just gonna say for now... I'm just gonna get Haldir next. This dude here. Uh, he's really good. He's gonna give you leadership once he levels up. He has a additionally strong attack with his arrows. And uh, you'll be able to summon Galatrim for free uh, in the later stages once it reach, uh, reaches level 7. So for the power points, uh, if you're really in trouble, like if you're having a hard time holding your base, the, the main thing that you should focus on is probably uh, this, this thing here, uh, which is basically Starlight. 
because it stuns all the units. So once they start rushing in, you have your towers. Once they are in here, just stun them. Your units will be attacking them for free, your towers will be attacking them for free, and you're going to be in a good spot from there. This early start is a little bit more uh, calm than usual. Normally, they would have more units in, in the base already. But even if they did, like the what I showed you that you can do, uh, th this should be enough to hold down the fort for you guys. Be watchful for the enemy. And how they're I'm gonna try to see if they, if they left. So here's the Nazgul. I'm gonna try to see if they left any creeps for me, so I can level hold you up a little bit. It's the enemy. Take cover, man. Here's something you can do. I'm gonna try to use Haldir to just snipe him. Let's see if I did this right. Why right, did it not work? I, ju I just tried to last hit him with my ability for the level back. Settle. Don't let them through. Have your weapons ready. Oh, and I lost Frodo. <laughs> I, I didn't realize Gothamog was in here. That's okay. Just gonna be probably another level for Haldir. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So now I have leadership, so now I'm chilling. And I have a lot of money, I'm gonna go for flaming arrows and all that stuff. And I don't really like these archers, so I don't, I'm not, I don't wanna make them more of them. So I'm just gonna level it up, get some Galafrin fire arrows and that. That's oh, I couldn't destroy this in time. Keep your wits must be defended. Once existed between elves and men. Settle the warriors. And they have a fell beast. <laughs> So that might be a problem, but see. Yeah. I'm just gonna use this so this guy will find my problems. Stay focused, I might need to go for towers here. The dwarf. I'll be able to kill the fell beast before. I think I will. Yeah, I'll try to snipe him with Haldir now as well. Oh, he didn't get it? Or is that... Oh, he didn't level that much at all. I don't end up getting my farm here. So now, actually, I'll go for Galathrin first. So, so this kind of rushes is what makes this brutal, uh, this hard army uh, stronger than on the regular base. Just because they rush with the heroes. You see, I already had an Asgo, I had Gothmog, and I had an Asgo and a Fell Beast as well already rushing in. So if you're not prepared, uh, if you, and you don't know they're coming like that, like they can actually destroy your base, and sometimes and you can't produce more heroes, and sometimes they rush in, and then you lose you stuff that you shouldn't have, and then you can lose the game that way. Watch your footing uh, with haste. But yeah, other than that, that's kind of what you do. I'm gonna go for another battalion, then flaming arrows, and then that's all. Our our homes must These battalions, if they die, I don't really care. Be watchful for the enemy. So it's, a, it's whatever. Be I'm gonna replace the enemy. them uh, in the future anyway. Once I have what I need to defend, I'm gonna use the units to push out of the base and get back some map control. So we already have one now. Because uh, once, uh, as I said, once he reaches level seven, I can actually summon them two battalions for free. So I don't wanna, I don't need to build that many. And the next hero that I wanna go for, for is Kalibor, just because he also has leadership, thirty percent more damage. And with, like with your melee units, once they keep running forward here, you don't have to keep them there. You, have, you can move them back and forward just to heal, heal back up and all that kind of stuff, so you don't lose your battalion. Again, as I, I, I don't want them, that's what I said, I, I don't want them in the future. But I'm still going to keep them for as long as I can, like, right? if I don't have to, to lose them right away. I want. Here comes the mouth of Sauron. The good thing is that yeah, he's not smart, they, they stop for no reason sometimes. And I'm going to try to snipe him again. Oh, this is gonna be hard. He's losing a lot of life. But I got it. Yeah, I got it. So now I can have Galactrum for free. And I buy fire arrows and I can destroy this. I don't need it anymore. Hurry, elves of the woods, foul creatures. Now that I have the units that I want in the base, I have four battalions of Galactrum. That's enough. I'm just gonna push with the, these guys out and try to get some uh, map control or something back. We can see what's up here. Our homes must be defended. Protect the woods. Yeah, so now I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna go for uh, Blacksmith next. Have your weapons ready, elves. Uh, actually, you can win if you can. Yeah, actually, my kicker. Uh, Stay focused, elves. Really Our forces actually. are under attack. Stay focused, elves. Okay. Don't let them through. Don't let them through. Mm -hmm. 
They are no match. Let them not rest. Drive back these foul creatures. Yeah, I can get some crap control there. Homes must be defended. The, uh, the uh, is doing over here. Let's see if they bought the camp already or not. They will not see us in the forest. Elven warriors. They or must they fall through for the enemy. I'm allowed to make sure my units here. Our fair city grows larger. Drive back these foul creatures. Let them not rest. Let's see if I can do it. They are no match. They're looking for fire arrows. Nah, whatever. I'll let them die. We watch through for the enemy. I'm going to replace them anyway. We watch through for the enemy. Go for it. Keep your wits sharp. Uh, when you build your barracks, this is almost almost all situations. I, I don't think there's a lot of situations where we'll not go for heavy armor first. That says it, it doesn't matter if you're playing against AI, if you're playing against player. Like 99% of the times, I feel like you you would go for heavy armor first. Yeah. The heavy armor is ready. I'm not as good to my my units. We must protect the woods. Settle. My forge blades, I don't actually really need it. I'm just gonna get them because I'm gonna make forces later to push out of the base and destroy their units. But if you're playing against like another player, you wouldn't necessarily need it. Uh, Have your weapons ready, Elves, for the enemy. But I'll buy it anyway, and then I'll destroy it. Because once you buy all the upgrades, you don't need the, the blacksmith anymore. You can buy it and then destroy it. And now you can see that it's like it's really relaxing here. I don't have to do much. They just keep there. And then I so power points out there. I go for heal. I go for this. And then I'm gonna go for Gift of the Valor, just so your heroes do more damage and have a little bit extra health. Because once they have rush in with their heroes, especially their stronger heroes, it makes it easier for you to deal with them. And I'm gonna go for Forge Blade now. These guys, they have huge battalions and destroy buildings very easily, so you, you keep losing these units. It's kind of annoying, but you keep losing that, but whatever. Make another one. I'm gonna build another tower here to see if that helps a little bit. And I'll give these guys fire enemy. arrow as well once they can. And the once it... Let's uh, see, I don't need that anymore. Now, now I wanna have forces, so I'm just gonna go for the Nauter Barracks. And once one of your Marlon trees reach level, level 3, you can buy Grand Harvest, which increases your resources by 50% on all of your Marlon trees. So, yeah, it's a big power spike. 50% more resources for the elves in general because that's the only production building that they have. So whatever you have is 50% more resources now, which is really good. So yeah, that's probably once you can get it, you should get it. Maintain your balance. Yeah, and the next thing that I'm getting here is just going to be my prior arrows. I think just one battalion is going to be missing that. And the other, the other reason you want to buy uh, Caliborn first. Uh, I don't really just use Haldir, he can two shot the catapult. So, so as I was saying, normally the reason I buy Caliborn is not only because of the leadership, but he also has, once he's leveled up, he also has that passive where he gives your units experience. He gives it about a level to the units. So, uh, I use him just keep leveling up my units as well. And you kind of want to position Haldir like that. Just so all the units get his leadership. 25% more damage, 25% more armor. We must protect the woods. I bring the word. Elrond everything. Yeah, for the elves, I think Haldir is the strongest or most cost effective hero you can get. He gives you leadership, he has, he's an archer, so that's really good. He can, he can keep shooting units from afar. And he has the free Galatrian that he can summon. Especially against the, the AI, these three units are really strong. I can even do it again if I wanted to. But I'm gonna uh, level this guy up first and get some more upgrades on them. Then I'll, I think I'm gonna get some more free units. I try to keep keep him on the with the bow and arrow once he's inside the base. Otherwise, he'll keep running to the units at the front here, and he will not give them leadership. And wow, they are really spamming this thing. I might even go for it, save up for my ego actually. This is really annoying. Whenever you rush a hero out, just try to keep an eye on him because sometimes they can have a hero in the mix that you don't see or something like that. So yeah. And I don't have to say, he probably has the catapults built here. So this is probably the first thing they want to get rid of just because they're so annoying. 
So here, like, once you are stable, like I am right now, you can choose to push out or do whatever you want here. Like, you don't have to keep camping like I am. But I, I know a lot of people so play this game more casually, so they're not like trying to micro everything all the time. So this is kind of what I'm doing it this way as well. Just so you guys see that you, you can, once you like the beginning, you, you have to be a little bit quick with how you build stuff. But once you have this, you're pretty safe. You don't have to worry too much anymore. Now it's just a matter. You can kind of do whatever you want from here on. Uh, you can try to test units. You can just wait for heroes and test the heroes out. You can push for more map control and like oh should I have a remedy to do that? Because I'm not gonna tell you. And if you're uncomfortable with doing all of this as well, you can just buy all the towers. It will help if some of the weird heroes push straight for instead of or something like that. I'm gonna build a couple of riders, put them in the back here, I'm gonna get, gonna use them to destroy this this thing here. And again, from the power points your own, it, it's up to you whatever you wanna do. Uh, if you're having issues, you can go for ants, you can go for these guys, they're really strong, and they will help you uh, save your base. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for these guys just to help me destroy the that thing. And you can use this to cancel off uh, darkness with this box. And I've been saying buy this and I forgot, so it's already level 3, so now I can buy this, so I got extra resources. We've improved the stables! Go, go, go. From oh no, you died. Must defend these lands. We've begun the grand harvest. No, that's the other guy. I hate this death animation. <laughs> you just keep shooting it. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I can use my horses now. These lands. Move out. Come on, hard risk. Pin them Move down. down. The enemy is Move here. Out. I hate, my pin them down. I hate the death animation so much. Come on! Pin them down! Riders, we ride from Rivendell! Can go back. Take the horses we back. protect the house of Elrond! Again, I'll buy uh, the armor upgrade first, just so they don't die. Oh, and I'm gonna go for Caliborn next once I have the resources. Go there to build and support the Okay. Really? We must defend these Holy. lands. <laughs> Catapult spam man, it's really, it's real. They don't stop it's with up. it. Our homes must be That's the reason the well is so important. We protect the house of Elrond. Take the horses back. We're gonna push them out as soon as I have like fourth play. Actually, I might get this well. We must defend these yeah, lands. I'll, I'm gonna push with them. Take them this way. Once I have the fourth place, I might go for this. I actually can level it up just in this unit. Onward. Go this that. way, lancers. Get some extra level from the horses them. here. Come on. Destroy this catapult. I'm gonna go for these guys just so I can destroy it. Lancers, I actually don't onward. even need to push out with the horses, but. And if you want, you actually don't need to rush out of your army to destroy lines. your bases. If you want, you can just camp in, get enough power points to buy everything, and then you can destroy your base with that. You don't actually need to buy anything, or I uh, mean, push out of your army if you don't want to. And these guys are. Oh, you're not attacking. Really, the troll's gonna kick my guy's asses because you're not attacking him. Ah, uh, these these animations that they have, that they stop and that they scream and they, all of that. Ah, uh, so annoying. Riders. Just attack Ready yourselves! Yeah. Watch your backs! Mm. Riders! Spears ready! This way, Lancers! Yeah. I'm pretty sure they still build Siege Siege Wars in their main base, but at least now they don't have as many structures to build. Put them down! Keep them off balance! Our fair city grows larger! And I can buy Caliborn. Well, let's, let's get him. Where is he? Where, where, where? <laughs> We've he destroyed is. them! Elven warrior homes must be defended! We protect the house of Elrond! And darkness cooldown is pretty short, so you can see it comes back before my Starlight spell. How, how do they call it here? The Light of Erendil. Yeah, okay, I'll try Rally to remember together, Lancers. And the good thing about the elves is that they actually we have two weather spells. Lands. So they have this, so the Light of Erendil, which is Starlight, and then the Mist. And both of them, they negate uh, either the rain or Rally darkness, together, Take them this way. which is really strong, yeah. especially on PvP. Onward. If you're playing one of you want, Move you out. can always deny their spell because even though it comes back earlier, you can keep rotating between uh, Light of Erendil and uh, Mist. Over here, elves. And I'm gonna build 
statue, healing well. Yeah, just a farm. Spear is ready. Um, Stand fast, and these guys, once you summon them, they they're not time based. Soldier they are actually your combo. army, so they add they, they add up your uh, your power points. Fast, you can always summon them though. So even if you're command point, command point capped, you can still Soldiers. summon them after that, and then you're gonna be over your command point cap. You can buy this and then. So what I do with Caliborn once I have, because he's only melee, I get him in the middle of the units, his leadership is here, and then I press S. So this way, he'll not move from here. If they start pushing, he'll not that move out and do enemy. stupid stuff like that. So I can just keep him here, give him leadership, that's all I want, and that's good. We protect the house of Elrond. Lancers. So now, I could be pushing for their brain and, and destroying it already. I'm just gonna hold out a little bit longer, get some more power points, maybe some extra heroes just to show you guys. Lances. But from here on, even not even before this, I told you like you were ready, like you could. I'm gonna get this just so I get my leadership back. So I don't destroy my, my farm again. Oh, I forgot this. This guy, I got this guy. I don't really need you, but yeah. Uh, got another horse battalion just so it's easier for me to rush your base. I'll get Galadriel now. Oh, I don't think I Gotta do this first. It's the enemy! Take cover, man! Lancers! Keep your wits sharp! Keep your wits sharp! Our homes must be defended! There they Watch are! For what the enemy. should we do? I've been word, never held on and if you keep... Uh... If you keep Caliborn close to your units and close to your hero, he's gonna keep leveling it up passively, despite the fact that he won't kill anything. Which is good as well. We ride right from Rivendell. Lancers. Come on! Here. And buy everything. Come on! Rally together, Spears. ready? The honor Stand of us, men! I see you. And also, what is really helpful against any, I guess, I guess against any faction, your ego is really strong. It's really expensive, but it's really it strong. Because be let's say your enemy has catapults, like the way they were spamming here, or they have ants, or they have just trolls. You can use the ego to to snipe them from, like, you go in with the ego, destroy them, uh, and fly fly back out. It's it's really strong. You got a micro it a little bit. You can leave the ego just there attacking units because archers and stuff like that are gonna kill kill the, the ego. It does, it's not that resistant. But it's really good to destroy like key units, key special units like catapults and trolls and ants, stuff like that. Same with the, the Nazgul if you're playing uh, Mortar. The, when the, the Nazgul and the Fell Beast, they're really strong. Just gotta use them properly, but they're really strong. Run them oh, what? Through. Oh, no! Back what are you off. doing? No! Swords. No! This way, Lancers! Okay, I lost my, my horse. <laughs> okay, let's, let's take another one. Ideally, you'd be paying attention in this kind of spell. And, wow, that's a weird use of the spell, but all right. We protect the house of Elrond. Spears ready. I'll go for Mist next, I guess. Once I push in their army, I'll use I use Mist. Uh, is there anything that I want here? I guess. Actually, I guess I'll get the eagle. Ideally, like if you're having issues, ideally we would go for Aaron first because once he levels up, he also has leadership, we ride which Rindo. makes everything easier. Spears ready. Oh yeah, and I said I had that I would break this to get my leadership, but I forgot the darkness doesn't deny your leadership rained us. So forget about that. Onward. How the hell did I lost my citadel? Are you guys just not seeing anything? What the hell? Rally together, yeah, I guess I'm gonna use the guard thing. So. Just use this here. Kill them to the east, or fire up great so you don't die so easily. Lancers, we must defend the these horses. lands! The mouse boy dis are pretty, pretty strong. Spears pretty strong as you can see. Over here, elves! Over here, elves! Yeah! Onward! I'm just gonna start pushing them now. Ride! Move out! Onward! Go here, get my... Soldiers oh, they just come to the city. Soldiers of Gondor! Thank you. Get ready. Uh, let's Swords. see how they are. Oh, okay, let's go first. Way. So I have the whole battalions and then I, I go from there. Um, Our homes must I'll bring be my defended. eagle with them. Come on. Soldiers of Gondor! Lancers! So the mist spell uh, gives you a little bit extra armor sp and speed, uh, movement speed for your units. This way, so when you're pushing a base, try to use it just for the extra armor. So it Move takes out. more arrow shots from Come the base on. for... for uh, so your units take a little bit longer to die from the arrows from the base. Watch the flank! Spears ready! Mm, let's 
see. We should work. There they are. What should we okay, do? We'll keep pushing. We're gonna. Do this for now. The enemy is near. Huh. Okay. Maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe you go kill some other units, not those units. Put them down. They should. They should have this in the bay. It's the enemy. Take cover, man. Have a dig. Rally together, Lancers! Move out! Okay, I'll summon this guy, summon this guy. Oh, that was a tiny. Stand ready, you guys can go we protect the house of their world! We can go destroy this. We can go destroy this. Make ready! We're under attack! Swords. And the AI doesn't start building towers until we actually push them. So the first push that you do is always the easiest one, just because they don't have towers built yet. Which is kind of funny. But that's kind of how they do it. Put them down. Push here. And they probably have this camp on as well. What's going on over here? That's so weird. The enemy has settled here already. So their base is pretty much dead now. Put them down. Not what they can do about it. Watch the flank. Tips up. Make ready. Mafia Sauron is here, King Alma killing all my units. Mafia Sauron is also pretty strong. Especially if you don't have pikes like me. The only pikes that the elves have are this. And they are the strongest pikes in the game. Together with uh Tower Guards. But I think they're stronger actually. I think they have more health than the Tower Guards. Let's let's check it out. Tower Guards have 160 range. Is that Muffle Sarm still here killing me? No. Stand ready! Kill the pikes, please. The enemy is near! I always buy the base once I destroy it, just so I don't have to... In case I go kill the other base, they can come back and then buy this again, and then I have to come back here and destroy it again, which is kind of annoying. So, I always just buy the base, I don't even have to do anything here, just put some towers or something, just so they don't destroy the... So they build that quickly, in case they rush in. We will help you fight this war. Soldiers, wait! And I can start pushing to this camp, which is, should be their last camp, which is what they're doing here. Yeah. Yeah. Can buy the last spell now. And then use it here just because. I'm actually just going to ignore their army, I'm just going to rush through right away. So he'll get a few minutes back. Bam! Oh, let's see. How much health do they have? Yeah, they're stronger than the tower guards. But they can't buy upgrades, but they are by default stronger as well, so they do have more armor and attack than regular units, despite the fact that you can't buy upgrades. And you can also buy two of them and combine them together, which gives them more armor, which makes them even stronger. Uh, please attack something. Thank you. Uh, go for this now. You guys in the back and go for this. Go for that as well. Should be. Should be GG. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Like, you see there's... The beginning is the hardest part. Once you're good defending here, uh, that that's it. Like after that, it's just a matter of getting your units, pushing it out. And if there's anything else that I didn't cover that you guys want to know that I forgot or questions that you have or anything, just let me know. Like I'll enter all your comments on the on the bottom there. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this kind of content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.